امیر المؤمنین سیدنا علی کرم اللہ تعالی وجہ الکریم دا لائن اف اللہ واز بورن ان مکہ المکرمہ ہز مدر سیدتنا فاطمہ بنت اسد رضی اللہ تعالی عنہا نیمڈ ہم افٹر ہز فادرز نیم وچ از حیدر وی ایز ہز فادر نیمڈ ہم علی دا ہولی پروفیٹ صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ وسلم گرانٹڈ ہم دا ٹائٹل اف اسد اللہ دا لائن اف اللہ بیکوز حضرت علی رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ پریکٹس سو مچ اف بریوری ہی واز سو بریو سو رسول اللہ صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ وسلم بیسٹاؤڈ اپون ہم دا ٹائٹل اف اسد اللہ اپارٹ فرام دیس ٹائٹلز مرتضی مرتضی مینز دا چوزن ون از آلسو ہز ٹائٹل کرار دا ون اسٹرائکنگ بیک ریپیٹڈلی از آلسو دا ٹائٹل اف سیدنا علی رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ دین شیر خدا دا لائن اف اللہ تعالی دا لائن اف دا لارڈ This is also the title of Sayyiduna Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu and of course Mawla Mushkil Kushab that Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu is the one who solves our problems and this is amongst his famous names as well. The kunniya of the fourth khalifa of Islam Sayyiduna Ali ibn Abi Talib karam Allahu ta'ala wajhahul kareem is Abu al-Hasan and Abu Turab. He radiallahu ta'ala anhu is the son of the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam's paternal uncle whose name is Abu Talib. After 30 years of Amul Fil, when the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam was about 30 years old, Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu was born inside the Holy Kaaba on the day of Friday. Subhanallah, just imagine what an opportunity that is, what a great excellence that is. Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu born on the day of Friday inside the Holy Kaaba on the 13th of Rajab. The name of his mother is Sayyidatuna Fatima bint Asad. رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ ہی رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ was only 10 years of age when he came into the fold of Islam he is the first amongst the children to accept Islam to embrace Islam so Sayyidina Ali رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ accepted Islam when he was just at the age of 10 years ہی رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ was raised in the household in the family of رسول اللہ صلی اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ وسلم He remained active and supporting the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He would help the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He would support the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he got the environment of the household of Rasulullah sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam. He had a distinguished reputation because of being amongst the muhajirin awalin and the ashara and mubashara. Those ashara and mubashara, those ten personalities, those ten lucky people, the fortunate people. who got the glad tidings of Jannat from Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam in the world itself. And amongst them is Sayyiduna Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu as well. And Sayyiduna Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu possesses many remarkable excellences. Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam is one of the closest sahabi. Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam gave his daughter in the nikah of Sayyiduna Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam granted him the title of Abu Turab. And because Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam had granted this title of Abu Turab, Sayyiduna Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu loved this title so much that he loved it more than his name. The excellence of Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu is so much so that the mention of Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu is made in the Holy Quran. Thus Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ سِرًّا وَعَلَانِيَةً فَلَهُمْ أَجْرُهُمْ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ وَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ The translation of which is the translation from Ghanzul Iman. Those who give them money in charity, in night and day, secretly and openly, they have their reward with their Rabb. They neither have any fear, neither they do have any sorrow. Now this verse which speaks about giving charity in night and in day. And openly and in secretly. In the tafsir of this ayat, In the explanation of this ayat, a famous mufassir, Allama Maulana Sayyid Muhammad Naimuddin Muradabadi, alayhi rahmatullahi al-hadi, has explained in tafsir Khazainul Irfan, according to one of the verdicts, this verse was revealed in the favor of Sayyiduna Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Now how is that once he radiallahu ta'ala anhu possessed only four silver dirhams, only four silver coins, dirhams, and nothing else, for donating in charity. He just received four coins. So Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu gave those four coins in charity. 
Now in the verse which was recited, it is mentioned giving charity day, night, openly and secretly. At four instances, the four instances have been mentioned. Now Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu had these four dirhams. So Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu gave one dirham as sadqa in the day, gave one dirham as sadqa at night, gave one dirham as sadqa in front of people and gave one dirham as sadqa secretly without anyone knowing. Now, why did he do so? Why in the day? Why in the night? Why openly? Why secretly? So the explanation of this is Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu did this through the mindset that you never know which amal Allah Ta'ala likes the most? Which sadaqah Allah Ta'ala likes the most? Whether Allah Ta'ala likes my this deed in the day or Allah Ta'ala likes it when I do at night. Allah Ta'ala likes it when I do it in front of people so that they are encouraged or whether Allah Ta'ala likes it when I do it alone so that no one knows about it and it's only between me and my creator, Rab Azza wa Jal. This was the sakhawat and generosity of Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu. His passion to distribute in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His passion to give sadaqah in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what is our situation today? Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu did it in four different situations. He did it in the day, he did it in the night, he did it openly, he did it secretly. Why? Because of the mentality that you never know which amal Allah ta'ala likes. Which amal becomes the most beloved amal towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But our situation today is that when we give sadaqah, when we give charity, we want people to know. We want it to be announced. If for instance a person gives some sadaqah or some donations to the masjid, he will make sure that his name is announced by the Imam Sahib or maybe his name is on the notice board of the masjid or something like that. So this is not right. We should do the amal, we should do the good deeds for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not for the sake of the people. Because it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who will bless us. It is Allah ta'ala who will reward us. It is not the people who will reward us. They will only maybe praise us. But then what will happen on the day of judgment? Look at the sincerity of Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala Look at the dedication of Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala He was so sincere. He was so dedicated. He was so eager that I should anyhow please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should also create this mentality that I want to please my beloved Rabb Azza wa Jal. Madani Channel We love Madani Channel We love Madani Channel